All right, this meeting is being recorded. So, hi, Suzanne from Glass Garden Beads. I want to get my screen up here though. Let's see, so you can see me and screen share. And we've got everything here advanced. All right, here we go. <laughs> you know, it takes me forever. Okay, I'm gonna quickly, hi, uh, good morning. We are going to do the help video. Now help videos are real short. So I'm going to show you this. This is the one I'm doing, Gemstone Blooming Crystal. And here's the crystal bracelet. All righty. And I wanna show you very quickly, I'm gonna switch over right here to see your, there we go. We'll be here in a second. There, I wanna show you that when you measure your bracelet, each flower takes up about a half an inch. And do you see this one? I need one more flower. So when you count out your, for example, I'm gonna count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven is for a six and a half inch bracelet. And then the twelfth flower would be your button. I would need twelve bases and the thirteenth would be the flower. Now with the flower, you do a little different. You're gonna have a shank button here. Uh, the directions are very clear, but you're gonna see you have a shank bead rather. You're gonna see you have two shanks. I did that because I thought, what if you lose one? Then you've got it, okay? And we work with three millimeter pearls. We work with 11 O beads, four millimeter, bicone uh, and four millimeter fire polish. So right away, I don't want to linger here. Shout out to um, Kathy who prompted this video and uh, everybody's going to thank you. I want to get the very first thing this tells you to do beside get your thread, read the directions, etc. You are going to add eight fire polish. That's your very first. So let's do it. Eight fire polish. One, two three, four, okay, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now move that down. We want about, it also calls for eight inches of tail. So that's right there. And what I do at this point is I don't go through it again. I tie a knot for before I go through all the beads because you, you're going to get a circle of beads, but I want to reinforce it. Some people don't like to do it. I do it. All right. So I reinforced that, tied a knot. The knot is actually um, a visual. Now I'm going to go around all eight beads again. So just bear with me a second. And I'm not going to do the full bracelet. We are only going to do two base elements. After you do two base elements, you're going to know what to do for all of them. All right. So here you are. You go all the way around. We're to the knot. And now it tells us to exit after the fourth beat. One, two, three, four. And that's what we're going to do. One thing when you do start um, going around the beads go the same direction, whether you're going this way or whether you're going that way. So I'm gonna go this way, it's kind of natural to me. So here's one, two, three, four. Now I am coming, for me, when I look at this, my thread is coming down. I'm coming down from this bead right here. So this is going to be the sharing bead for the next base. And the next base, because this is one bead, we only add seven. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, got seven. We're always working in a circle on the base, right angle weave. So when you're coming out that base bead, 
going down, you want to complete that circle by coming and entering the same bead from the top. See that? So when we pull this, we should have eight beads in that circle because we're sharing one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now we are going to, even though we're coming down, we're going to count four beads. One, two, three, four, and that one, that's the one we're going to exit. And that's what you're going to continue throughout the whole bracelet until you get as many elements as you need for your base. I'm going to stop here because the next step is adding the flower. Okay, so all we did now is start, we added the base, get your base done, and then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna show you how to do the flower. All right, thanks for being so patient. I didn't wanna make this a real long video. I'm trying to find here. We are going to stop video. Yeah.